What is up, effing true followers and the members of the YWC? JAC Styles here with the effing brand of wrestling and entertainment here on YouTube.com with my fantasy WrestleMania dream card uh, for this year's upcoming WrestleMania 28. I've been wanting to do this for a couple of days now, but I just couldn't figure out who I would book and why. So I just wrote, started brainstorming and looking through the current WWE rosters. And, you know, I think I came up with a really good, solid card. Three of these matches, I kept the same. Two of the three matches haven't been announced. One of them we definitely know will happen. The other, with the current way the storyline is going, it could be either way. So, we're going to get right into this. First off, I would book to see the Divas Championship start up the WrestleMania. We would see Beth Phoenix defend against Karma. Now, the reason why I picked these two is because first... Karma made such a big impact at the Royal Rumble this past January. She looked so incredible in the ring. She looked like she hadn't lost her edge, her dominance. I mean, she went and she picked up Dolph Ziggler like he was a like a piece of like a piece of paper and just body slammed him. So she had such a big impact, and there was a lot of uh, talk that she had been working out prior to those couple of minutes that she was in the Rumble getting ready. Uh, she had given birth to a baby, her uh, baby, uh, back in December, so she had a couple of weeks to prepare. I would like to see her come back full-time at WrestleMania to take on Beth Phoenix. Now, the reason why is because Beth Phoenix has been going around saying that she's the most dominant female in the WWE, that there's no big challenge anymore, you know, she'll be WWE Divas Champion for a very long time, and, you know... It'd be great because these two never really got in the ring together because uh, not too long after Karma debuted uh, in the WWE, she wound up uh, making an announcement that she was pregnant and that she was going to be taking time off for that and that she would come back and, and be better than ever. Also, in the next match of the night, I would definitely want to see. It was a big talk so when they picked him up from Mexico. Uh... And they really wanted to keep these two guys to apart. And I would love to see the two be put in the same match one-on-one -on -one at WrestleMania. The brightest lights in the world. Sin Cara versus Rey Mysterio. I think these guys will put on a phenomenal match. And I would love to see these guys. Just because I'm a very big Sin Cara and Rey Mysterio fan. I'm also a, bi a big fan of the high-flying wrestlers as well. So I think these guys, given the opportunity to go out there and wrestle and put on a great show, I think these guys would definitely deliver. Now with WWE uh, canceling Money in the Bank, will we see a Money in the Bank match at WrestleMania? Who knows, but I put it in on my notes here, and I would see four competitors from Raw and four competitors from SmackDown. From Raw, we would see Kofi Kingston, Dolph Ziggler, R-Truth, and Zack Ryder. And from SmackDown, we would see Cody Rhodes, Christian, Drew McIntyre, and Ted DiBiase. Now, the reason why I picked these eight guys is because WWE has been really using these, utilizing these guys on TV a lot. And I think for a couple of these guys, it would be a very big push for them to win the Money in the Bank. Guys like Cody Rhodes and Dolph Ziggler, Zack Ryder. I mean, R-Truth has been getting a lot of exposure as well. Um... Drew McIntyre has been being used on TV, and I think that with him win booking him to win the uh, Money in the Bank would do a lot for his career. Because right now, I mean, he's on like I think like a two month losing streak to Santino, and I would definitely like to see some one of these guys win the Money in the Bank. Also, Ted DiBiase has been on a current little bit of a losing streak, you know, and he just has these guys are really good athletes and are somewhat being misused, so a Money in the Bank win could boost up their career just a little bit. Now, do I see that one of these guys cashing in and holding the title for a very long time? No, but do I see them cashing in and maybe getting a title? Yes, but with the current way WWE is running, you never know. Anyone can be a champion now, which is very good. Then... How I would play this next, the World Heavyweight Championship match out would be kind of be the Elimination Chamber prediction. I would have Wade Barrett pick up the World Heavyweight Championship this Sunday at the Elimination Chamber. 
Then have Sheamus announce that he's going to take on Wade Barrett at WrestleMania. Uh, then have Daniel Bryan cash in his rematch clause at WrestleMania. And then have Orton come out and say that he never got his fair shot at his chance to be in the Elimination Chamber because he got hurt and they would make a fatal four-way match at WrestleMania for the World Heavyweight title. Wade Barrett, Sheamus, Daniel Bryan, and Randy Orton. I would. That's a match I would definitely love to see. We never really have gotten a chance to see a fatal four... Well, we have at WrestleMania 20. Uh, we've seen triple threat matches uh, a lot in the WrestleMania years, but... We've only, it's very rare that we would see a fatal four-way. Then the next match of the night I would definitely like to see, but I would definitely like to see for the different reasons than a lot of our, v, our uh, members of the YWC, Undertaker versus Triple H. Now, yes, tri uh, Undertaker and Triple H have gone on uh, twice at WrestleMania. Uh, we've seen Triple H and Undertaker at WrestleMania... 17, we saw them again uh, last year at WrestleMania 7, uh, 27, I'm sorry. And now we're going to see them, we might see them this year at 28 with the current promos that Undertaker has been uh, cutting with the video packaging and everything. So we there might be a chance we may see Triple H, see Triple H Undertaker 3. I would definitely like to see that. But the way I would do it is I would have Triple H pick up the win and basically put the Undertaker down. The next match uh, I would have would be another prediction to have the Raw Elimination Chamber go down like this. Have the Miz pick up the win over every uh, winning the Elimination Raw Elimination Chamber match. Then go on to feud with Alberto Del Rio because there's there is a current backstage um, heat between the two. Uh, Alberto Del Rio did a radio interview a couple of days ago saying that how he doesn't like The Miz and how he's come close to wanting to punch The Miz in the face several times. So this would be a perfect WrestleMania match. The feud, the heat is there, especially for the WWE Championship. Alberto Del Rio has been seen backstage this past Monday night on Raw. He is uh, hopefully will be healed up by WrestleMania and we could see him in the card and that's how I would utilize The Miz and Alberto Del Rio at WrestleMania. Then we would have the best in the world versus the best in the world at what he does. We would see CM Punk take on Chris Jericho. Now the reason why I decided not to have these two go at it for the world, the WWE Championship is because eliminating the WWE Championship out of this equation would give us an, another match. You know, and WWE has always put eight matches on a WrestleMania card. So I would have CM Punk versus Chris Jericho, non, uh, not for the WWE Championship. Um, and what I would do is, whoever would win this match would, one, be coined truly the best in the world and the number one contender at uh, Extreme Rules for the following month. The last match of the night, which we all know is going to happen and I'm super stoked for, is John Cena versus The Rock. I'm a big Rock supporter. I can't wait for this match. So like I said, guys, three of the matches out of the two haven't been, out, of, out of the three, two of them haven't been announced. One of them we know is definitely going to happen, which was CM Punk versus Chris Jericho, which I tweaked a little bit. And Undertaker and Triple H is up in the air right now, but it could happen. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this WrestleMania 28 Dream Card. And please, leave your comments below. Let me know who you would book in WrestleMania 28. And I can't wait to see who you guys have to say. So, please leave your comments and your thoughts on mine. Thoughts. Also, check out the link in the description box. Uh, Matt Hardy is... I would say teasing a April 1st appearance at a show called Wrestle Reunion, but right before the camera cuts out, he says, but isn't there another big event on April 1st? And then he goes, well, my name is Matt Hardy, and in this world, anything can happen. So check out that link. Let me know your thoughts. Come back to the MyVid. Leave your comments. Can't wait to see what you guys have to say. I'm JC Styles. Stay tuned for Elimination Chamber reviews uh, and predictions. Have a good day.